Seema Indorwala. And Seema is from the Baha'i uh, faith. Uh, she is actively involved in various activity of Baha'i faith, conducts youth empowerment program with junior college students. Seema, you have five minutes. I'm really very grateful and thankful to all the people who have gathered over here today to come and participate and understand the peaceful coexistence and the various uh, people who spoke from different backgrounds, uh, different faiths, have really reiterated the idea that all the religions, all the prophets have said the same thing. The eternal truth is same. What varies is just the time in which they come. And each age has different uh, challenges. Uh, age, if we say of uh, 500 years ago, was very different from what we are living today. So the challenges are always different. And we have to learn. So the laws uh, which are given, so there are uh, eternal truths, and then there are social laws in every religion. So it is the social laws. So, okay, so it is the social laws which always change for the time in which they have come. Every prophet or every manifestation of God, uh, in the age they have come, they give us the social laws for that age. So in the Baha'i writings, uh, uh, Baha'u'llah is the manifestation of God for this age. And he has given us these profound insights on the principles of unity, oneness, essential harmony of religions, where he extends our vision. Like, uh, like up till now, uh, humanity was, a, was at a stage of uh, childhood, uh, youth, and now is the time when humanity is at a time of maturity. So he has extended our vision to global peace, not just um, to our land, to which country we are staying. Because these problems are faced everywhere in the world. What we are facing in India is faced everywhere in the world. Globally, it is the same. So uh, Baha'u'llah has extended our vision, saying, the earth is but one country and mankind its citizens. And this foundational principle underscores the interconnectedness of all the peoples and the unity of humanity calling us to strive for a world where diversity is celebrated and unity prevails. There is another quote, I think it was reiterated by um, two, three um, earlier speakers, but I would just like to uh, give this quote which Baha'u'llah says, O children of men, know ye not why we created you all from the same dust? that no one should exalt himself over the other. Ponder at all times in your hearts how ye were created. Since we have created you all from the same substance, it is incumbent upon you to be as one soul, to walk with the same feet and to dwell in the same land, that from your inmost being, by your deeds and actions, the signs of oneness and a sense of, a sense of detachment may be made manifest. Such is my counsel to you, O concourse of light. He ye this counsel that ye may obtain the fruit of holiness from the tree of wondrous glory. So, I know the bell has rung. I'll just very shortly, I try to analyze that when all the faiths, all the religions are speaking of the same eternal truth and peaceful coexistence, then why is there so much unrest and um, the riots and everything that we face? So one of the causes is, um, one of the causes or the breeding ground is prejudice. Prejudice of race, of religion, political opinion, and in religion in racial attitudes, in national bias, and in politics. So long as these um, uh, prejudices continue to breed, we will never be able to come together. So long as will the foundations of the social order will be blown into the four winds, and humanity will be exposed to direst peril. 
peaceful coexistence in multicultural societies can be achieved through the abandonment of prejudice and acquisition of morals and virtues. So I end with this. Uh, Bahala says, ye are all the fruits of one tree and the leaves of one branch. And he has likened the world of being to a single tree and all its peoples to the leaves, blossoms and fruits. Therefore it is needful uh, if the blossom ha and the flowers and fruits have to um, uh, blossom, then it will depend on the flourishing of the sweetness of the fruit. For this reason, let them purify their sight and behold all mankind as leaves and blossoms of the fruit of the tree of being. And let them at all times be concerned with doing a kindly thing to their fellow beings, offering love, thoughtful consideration and help. And um, there are some um, magazines uh, put at the counter. If uh, people wish, can just pick it up to know more about the Baha'i faith and what we are doing uh, in the social uh, work. Thank you. Thank you, Seema.